Hey, what's up? Jason here. Today I'm going to go over some of the basics for setting up a Vive tracker. So it's these little guys right here. If you haven't seen them, you can I think you can still order them on the Vive site and they should be available in stores sometime soon. So when you pull it out of the box, it looks like this. There's also a little USB dongle that looks like this that you have to have hooked up to the computer for it to work. This one's for the second tracker that I have, so that's why this one's still hooked up and going. Um, if you have one of these, you first need to just pair it in Steam VR, just plug it in through USB and then right click and hit pair for it to work. Uh, then it'll show up uh, and it'll look like that down here. So this device is tracked and my controllers are not both on. So I'll get those both turned on real quick. Um, to get started though, I've just got an empty, empty-ish project here. I added the Steam VR package and what I want to do is pull in the camera rig prefab plugging these things in they're both kind of dead so I'll take the camera rig and just drop it into my empty scene and I've already deleted out the main camera that was in here make sure you do that or else you get the same old problem of rendering to the wrong camera so with this in you see it's got a controller manager on it that has a left and right controller uh, but it also has an objects array. So here's where we're going to put the tracker. But before I can do that, I need to go in and just create a new game object for the tracker. I'll name it tracker. And then under the tracker, I'm going to create an empty cube. Oh, oops. That's a game object. I want to create a cube. So go to 3D object cube. And I like to scale these to about 0.05. And this is just so I have a visual representation of the, the tracker in the game. So on the tracker, I need to add a component for tracked objects, just Steam VR tracked object. And you see here, it's got an index that defaults to HMD. You don't have to worry about that. It just gets set at runtime. So you can leave it as HMD, change it to none. It won't, won't make any difference. So before I start, I want to make sure that both of my controllers are on and tracking. Oh, knocking things over. So once they're both on and tracking, I can press play and we should see the tracker do absolutely nothing. Let's see, let's watch. So controllers are moving, controllers moving, put the tracker up and nothing. And that's because we haven't added it to that array yet. So if I go to the camera rig and just drag the tracker over to this object array, now when I press play, my tracker should start spinning. There we go, I can adjust it and turn it and you can see it's close enough to the right size looks like it's there and I can even set it if I could get some decent tracking in here a little bit hard to track it with another object blocking the controller you can see it's kind of tracked to about the same position as the controller there pick it up spin it whatever so that's pretty cool and all but you know having it just as an object like this is not the most exciting thing. So one project I did a while ago was to just hook it up to a tennis racket. So I just have a standard old tennis racket like this. And the way I did it was with these little Velcro zip ties. So these are just like little cable ties that you use to hook up cables in your computer or organize like the cables that are organized on my desk are organized with these. Of course, there are a lot that aren't organized. Um, and what I'm going to do is just take the tracker like this and I want to figure out kind of where the middle of this racket is kind of like that and I'm just going to strap it down so to do that I'll just take these straps kind of pull them apart they're a little bit of a mess you can see just like that and what I'm going to do is just run it right through here All right, so you can see here I've got the tracker strapped on pretty tight. I want to make sure it doesn't wiggle around. You know, if it's loose, then the object's going to bounce around in the game. So now that I've got it on and I've made sure my controllers are on, I just press play again, and it should still track fine. So now I've got the cube there, and you can see it's as I line it up in front of my headset, it, it lines up right. But I want to add in a tennis racket now. So I've got this asset pack that I bought online. It was a VR sports props, cheap little $10 pack that I grabbed for, for this project. And then if I go in here to models, 
they have a tennis racket that's named Tennis Bat. So I'm gonna drop that in under the tracker and you can see like most Unity assets, it's scaled completely wrong. So I'll just go onto the tennis bat and fix the scale. I think 0.01 is about right. I don't know why everybody puts them in at the wrong sizes. So now you can see I've got the racket right here and got the cube down there. So the cube is where the tracker is going to be. So I really want the cube to be right up here, just kind of right near the middle, maybe a little bit off center. So to do that, I don't want to move the cube because the cube is going to stay at the origin of the tracker. I want to move the tennis racket. So just slide it down to about there. I think it's a little bit off center right here too. It's just the pivot of this thing is a little wrong, which is fine. It actually lines up perfect then. So let's hit play. Now if I hit play, let's see what it does. Now I've got a racket, it goes up and down, lines up right, let's see it from the side, see it there. And let me just pop on my headset. Should be able to just kind of toss this thing around and catch it. Oh, I'm at a Steam menu. Let's switch that off. Cool. So, yep, and feel the top of the racket. And toss it back and forth. And see exactly where it's at. And if I had a little bit more room, I could probably just toss this thing up and catch it in the air. So that's kind of what you need to get started. It's mainly just getting the tracker in and aligning the object, the physical object, right so that it's lined up with this thing and in the right position. Like I said, make sure that you keep the green light facing in a kind of a forward direction. I could have done this the other way and then I'd have to just flip the racket over. Should be fine too, but you want to make sure that you keep it in a steady position so that when you reattach it or detach it, it'll work again without having to go in and change things. Um, so yeah, that's kind of all there is to setting this thing up. Like I said, you have to make sure that the controllers are on or there's a little hack that you can do to this controller manager that fixes that weird bug. It's basically just that it's bailing out if both controllers aren't found. It doesn't go in and set up the objects afterwards. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask away in the comments or just send me a message on the website. And don't forget to like and hit subscribe. Thanks.